Hello everyone, my name is Kim. Welcome to another episode of my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you my current setup. I'm working as a developer. A great setup is essential to maximize productivity while working from home. I wanna make sure I have a comfortable workspace where I build software edit my video. I have two monitors. The first one on the left is the 27-inch 4K HP. The arm holds up the heavy screen perfectly and the monitor hub is in the back. A USB-C hub monitor will remove numerous cores. I can plug different cables right at the back of my monitor. I can rotate my screen horizontally and vertically. I try not to rotate too much because I just broke the cable yesterday. Cost me 50 bucks to replace a Thunderbolt cable from Apple. If you like it vertically, it's easy to set it up. When I check the price, the first one is called around 700 to 800. It's 4K so it's not by pretty expensive. This one is a little bit cheaper. I bought it when I was in third year in university. It cost me around like 350 to 400. It made from Dell. Doesn't have 4K, which is not really popular at the time. It never. I hope it will break so someday I can replace with a 4K TV. I really love big monitors that I don't have. I ring at the small screen on the laptop itself. This one is connect with an arm as well so I can adjust position back and forth when I lean a little bit backward. The way I set up my monitor position, the left screen is where I write all of my beautiful code base but also display a lot of syntax in my terminal. Constantly switching screen can be distracting when you try to focus. The more code you can see at one time, the better thought process you will have. The second monitor is basically where I try to find all of the tutorial and documentation for my code. Sometimes I watch YouTube video and listen to music while I'm working. This magic MacBook is where I do majority of my work and provide by the company. This 16-inch MacBook Pro with M1 chips. This is a little bit heavy, but I really like the servers and the retina display. I really love the fingerprint capability. It costs around 3500 after tax in Canadian dollars. This is my must-have setup, so I get really energized to start a day. The main thing that I need is my razor mount. It lights up nightly in the dark and change many different colors too. This is my favorite Razer Bluetooth headphone. I used to play a lot of games with my friends and family too. This RGB Bluetooth keyboard gives me a lot of good vibe during my coding session in the morning. <laughs> this is my old MacBook. It has been at least 3-4 years when I started learning coding. This is the first app that I built using Swift. And this is the second app like a Tinder. I built it using React Native. I have accomplished so much for the past two years that I think this is a great accomplishment that I made so far during the time being a developer. Like Steve Jobs said, having the courage to follow your heart and intuition. This is the PC that I got three years ago when I, the COVID hit. Then I wasn't a, a software engineer yet and I bought it just for playing game. But somehow it gave me a lot of power and I tried different things including learning how to code. So I'm not trying to learn some coding and maybe become a developer. This is Alexa, a gift from my friend. Let's try some Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10 11 p.m. Have a good night. Hey Alexa, let Remind me tomorrow at 3 p.m. I have a meeting. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Alexa, change light one to red. I'm developer, so I prefer anything that is most up to date. Moved on to my standing desk. This is the current one that I have. I uh, it's made from prime cable. You can adjust on up the height and flow as much as you can. Sometimes I just want to stand, so I will adjust it to 100. But if I want to sit, I normally do just 83 and 80. So this is my Blue Yeti microphone. I use mainly for YouTube. Audio quality has improved a lot since this is like the cover just to filter out all of the noise that I have. Thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video. Goodbye now.